Hey guys, this is Perry Guy and welcome to Let's Play Custom Robos. This is episode 5, and this game is brought to you by GameBendingWorld.com. Last episode, we defeated all the burglars and finally named our unnamed hero. His name is Ray. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. Yes, now let's actually move forward and see what's going to happen next. That's it for the hard stuff. It's best to check the parts generator every battle. Your opponent's not gonna wait for you while you make a quick run to the parts generator. And obviously, you can't slip out during a battle. That's why it's best to check with the parts generator after every battle. Even if you forget to check after a battle, you can still get the parts afterwards. However, if, if it's just got away from you to pick it up, why not go get it as soon as possible? The more parts, the more you can customize your robo. It gives you a real advantage in battle. So make sure you check the parts generator after every battle. Also, open the customized screen before battle. If you push the R button in, the, in that menu, you can practice with your new part. When you want to get out of the practice mode, press start and then select retire. Got it? Alright, that's not too hard to understand. Done. You sure? Well, if you don't understand, press start while you're walking around to check the glossary. Let's go back to the office. Right, let's do that. Okay. Huh? What is it, Harry? Hey, Ray, before we go, why don't you ask those lab guys for some info? They're robo researchers. They probably have plenty of stuff they can teach you. Give me a holler when you want to leave. Okay, let's uh, do that. But first, let's go check the, the generator, just like Harry said. Oh, right, we got our new gun. All oh, right, I can't wait to use that. Oh, okay. You know, on second thought, uh, that'll take too long if we talk to every scientist, so let's just leave Harry, okay? What? You want to go already? I don't want to hurry back. We can get back too quickly, and Ernest will give us some more work to do. Chill out. Oh man. Yes, folks, you, if, you pretty much have to talk to everybody if you want to advance through the game. I hope you like talking to people, because that's what you're going to do uh, a lot of the times. So let's get started, shall we? Thanks for helping us. We're good at science, but not at fighting. By the way, did you know that people who are trained to pilot robos are called commanders? You did? Well, I guess you just know it all, don't you? Oh, well, that one's pretty obvious. Oh, well, then, uh, let's talk to you, then. Most commanders become better by fighting, by mastering each of their robo's abilities. By fighting, robo's customize their programming and develop the ability to operate new parts. That's why robo's don't come pre-installed with all of the parts. The ro custom robo needs battle experience in order to alter its code and learn new parts. Parts generators read your robo's battle log and installs any part your robo is able to use. That's why you should check the nearest parts generator every time you finish a battle. After all, you don't want to miss an opportunity to get a new part. And while everyone keeps telling us the same thing about the parts generator, okay. You want to know about the lab? This is a government-funded robo-research and development lab. You've already met Linda, right? She's the director of our lab. Okay, wow, talking to these people are so not a waste of time. <laughs> Wait, so you're the one who's taking Rail 1 from us? And you already did an ice man? Whoever makes eye contact with the robo first is his registered commander. The only one he'll face. That's what eye scan registration is all about. All right, Riveting. Okay, let's talk to you again. I need to clean this place up. There are parts all over, and I've got no clue where to start. Custom robos are composed of five parts. A body, a gun, a bomb, a pot, and a leg. Commanders have the freedom to customize any of these five parts in any way they want. The custom part comes from the planning of your robot. planning your robot's design based on your battle situation. 
Alright, let's talk to you next. Those criminals nearly got away with Rail 1. Remember, even though it's a robo, once you dive into it, it's an extension of your own body. During a dive, a commander's thoughts merge with the robo's CPU, giving maximum control. When a robo receives damage, the commander experiences a kind of a mental trauma. It's a side effect of the dive. Ah, interesting. Okay, let's talk to you next. Robo's that uh, guy ever do. But I do. Okay, we're gonna stay away from you then. All right, let's talk to you. Hmm? What? I'm busy. Can't you see? What? You want info? Yeah, I got some info for you. Here, let me let you in on a little secret. You see that parts generator? Well, there are others just like it all over the place. If you press start and select while you're moving around, you can see strategies and the glossary. Different guns have different ranges, from short to medium to long. Everyone here wears glasses except for Linda. And that's all I know. Hope it helps. Why are these scientists so weird and they have the same voices too? It creeps me out. But who, who cares? It doesn't matter because we're finally done talking to these guys and I don't ever want to talk to them again, honestly. Okay, so let's get out of here, please. All right. You all set? Okay, all right. Then let's see. Oh, no, we're not staying here any longer. Okay. Oh, well, this is interesting. Let's select this. Go on without me. What? Got something to do? Hang on. You're not going to ask Linda out once I leave, are you? Listen up, bud. This ain't going to happen. I'm not leaving until you do. All right, all right, Harry. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's roll. Oh, good. We'll never have to come back here, right? Someone tells me we have to, but oh, well. Okay, we're not going to worry about that now. And yes, you get free rain now. We can actually control Ray and move him around the city. Yeah, we can't go anywhere yet, but we will. All right, so what we're going to actually need to do is to go back to the Steelheart's office. So let's go do that. Yeah, there we go. Really, Chief? It's just like I said. This guy's got real talent. Listen. I don't know what happened, but Linda just called and told me to hire you. Just so you know, we hired you for that robo of Linda's, and not because you're some hot shot. All right, so it's settled then. Go home and get some rest. See you tomorrow. But the pay stinks! Well, at least you got the job. You could go home for today. Just be ready to work to hard tomorrow. Okay, here you can go home automatically, or you can hang around and talk to people. Um, for we're gonna go ahead and just instantly go home. So let's do that. Thanks. I'm tired, so I'm gonna head home. See you tomorrow. Yeah, not if I see you first. See ya. Uh, and that ends that. Okay, so that's the end of the day. Yeah, this is separate by day, so let's continue on. Ray, wake up. You don't want to get fired on your first day at work, do you? No! Now, wake up and go to work! I see the old lady clock is still working. Yeah, so this is exciting, right? Instead of going on a daring adventure, we get to go to work! Yeah, that's so fun right now. <laughs> Alright, this game is so exciting. Alright, let's leave uh, Ray's boring room and let's move on. Okay, let's go out here and we're gonna talk to her again. It's time for you to wake up. 
Don't you start work today. Good luck with that. I'll do my best. Now, I'm still confused about all this. What does a bounty hunter do? Is it like a mercenary? It's hard to explain, but basically we hunt down criminals whose crimes involve robots. But isn't that what the police squad does? We take requests that the police squad considers too small to bother with. Sounds almost like those private eyes from the stores. Are you like detectives or something? Well, I guess all that really matters is that you're a commander, just like your father wanted. So work hard, all right? Uh-huh. See ya. All right, and we'll leave you with whatever you're doing. Exercise, I guess? Okay, whatever then. Let's just move forward and go back to the office. Right, there we are. Okay, here we are. Hey, hey there, Harry. Good morning. Go check in with Ertis. He doesn't act like it, but he is the boss around here. Okay, will do. Ah, oh, you're here. You probably noticed, but this is a small office we've got here. We don't have the manpower to spend long training, so I need you to get up to speed quickly. Say, Ernest, where's Marcia? I mean, the new guy gets here right on time, but she's nowhere to be seen. What's up with that? Marcia's on duty right now. She's not a slacker like you, Harry. Huh? On duty? This early? I called you this morning, but you didn't answer. Hmm. Really? That's odd. Hey, oh no, I never answered my cell phone before noon. Well, that's why I sent Marcia. Okay, we get to ask some questions. We can ask who Marcia is. More, more about what Bounty Hunter's doing. Whatever that is. So let's ask about Marcia. Who's Marcia? Another one of our happy helpers here. She's the local ace of Steel Hearts. A hard worker and a great commander. Just remember, she's not quite as good as me. Yeah, right. That's a good one. Anyway, like I was saying before, you have to be ready for action at a moment's notice. Harry, I want you to take Ray to the gym. Have him do some warm-ups. A little training, huh? Gotcha. Let's go, Ray. And keep your cell phone on. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. All right, we get to go somewhere different. Okay, maybe this might not be so dull after all. Like it ever was. Uh, you never, never mind. Let's just, uh, yeah, Harry, lead the way, please. I, we don't know where it is. Oh yeah, there's the big obvious sign right there. More obvious signs. Okay. This is the training gym. Ertis got us a group membership here, so we can train whenever we want. Here, let's do a round. You versus me. Oh, really? That's gonna be so awesome. All right, this is actually gonna be cool, guys. We can't. We don't have time to do it right now, but <laughs> it'll be cool once we see you next episode, I guess. This table's called the Holoceum Deck. It's a machine that projects a Holoceum. Some commanders, like me, can generate their own Holoceum. Some can, just the way it is. Commanders who can't just use a Holoceum that's built into their custom robo, or use Holoceum decks like these to make one for them. Okay, before we start, I'll give you some, I got some boards for you. You'll probably notice this, but you can change the direction the pod fires in. Tilt the control stick so it aims where you want to shoot, and, ju and push the elbow. If you don't tilt the control stick, it'll automatically fire the direction of your opponent. Got it? All right, you sure do, Harry. Got it. Okay, let's start. Don't worry, I'll go easy on you. Okay, and that's the end of episode five. Stay tuned for episode six when we see this galactic battle. Who will win this one? Will it be Ray or Harry? All right, I'm cheering from the both. Okay, it's gonna be hard to cheer for one of them. All right, uh, this is Perry guy. 88, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.